How, how is it looking from your perspective, Piers? What do you think is going on there, and where do you think this is going to go? And I want to get to the, the most important part, which has Americans quite literally uh, in fright right now, and, and God help the Japanese, because their fear is off the chart. The question is, are we going to get runaway or not? Now, um, I, I think something like an explosion is unlikely, but there could still be uh, a serious uh, meltdown which might result in a lot of emissions, uh, or they might be able to contain it. Um, but, you know, I can't really say more than, the, than that, which is what... Uh, Quite a lot of people have been saying, but it is. I would agree with you. There has been an amount of uh, obfuscation. Um, I mean, the reactor that itself is safe against earthquakes, I think. But the problem is, they didn't bank on this sort of uh, tsunami-type event, which uh, has caused them all the trouble. We have uh, some remarkable uh, helicopter footage up at uh, at Rents. dot com. It's now all over the world. And it shows yes. it shows a a nuclear power plant. We we remember there are six reactor buildings on that facility, folks. Yeah. We're only seeing four of them. The other two are said to also be experiencing cooling problems, and they're not telling us how severe they are. We just don't know. They've lied about the water in the facilities. They are said to be bone dry by the Americans. At least mm, one of the I buildings. I mean that and, is astounding and extremely dangerous. I mean, you know, they've got to carry on shoveling that water in, but can they do it fast enough? I mean, it well, seems to me they need a massive amount of water. And maybe the ultimate solution is going to be build a kind of dam around the whole lot and just flood the thing entirely with water so that the energy coming from a meltdown would be uh, boiled off. Well, they're going uh, to eventually, right. Pierce, as you know, have to entomb all four of these That's buildings, right. they're That's they're right. trash yeah. now, That's and I don't I mean. care. I mean. Yeah, I don't care how much water they pour on them. First of all, stainless steel doesn't like salt water, so it's going to obviously begin to corrode, yeah. and that's that finishes the reactor right then and there. Now, the American Seventh Fleet was there, and the USS Ronald Reagan, a hundred miles offshore, sailed through uh, uh, an obviously very substantial radioactive plume. The ship has sensors on it. They know precisely uh, exactly what they went through. The ship was pulled back. It's been pulled back a second time now and ordered further south away from the entire scene. A uh, hundred miles offshore, the winds since uh, shifted and began to blow to the uh, south-southwest, which took mm -hmm. the uh, radiation over Tokyo, which has resulted in a flight of thousands of people, not the uh, least of which are the, I'm told, the, <laughs> the bankers and other executives in Tokyo. <laughs> the people who invested in the plant in the first place. Mo most likely, most likely. Now, we had uh, Yuichi Shimatsu on the other night, and, and Yuichi, an environmental reporter of decades, former editor of the Japan Weekly Times, said that there is a, or was, a Siberian, what they call a Siberian high, over the islands yeah. now, and that's what's uh, yeah. counterclockwise, and, and spun that stuff down to the south southwest. Yeah, uh, yeah if yeah, I, yeah, I I'm, right. I'm no professional, but am I correct? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, uh, until there's a big explosion there, the stuff coming off is. By the time it gets, you know, that far away, it's going to be pretty well dissipated, um, and. I think, well, it's fine people flying off, which was, you know, if well, I was there, I indeed. might be tempted to do that. However, but when they're flying off, they're quite likely going to fly through one of these clouds anyway. They, so, it, well, they have. Um, did you did you hear? Yes. American airliners flying out of Japan have landed in Chicago and Dallas-Fort Worth airports, and in two instances, the planes set off radioactive... I don't know if they're Geiger counters, but uh, certainly devices that are in airports now to check for radiation. Yeah. So we know just by flying through the general atmosphere, and they didn't fly over the Fukushima 2 or 1 locations. Mm. They flew out of airports from Tokyo and, and south. So that stuff is clearly in the air, and it's, it's probably spread a lot farther than they're admitting. It would have oh, to. I agree with that, absolutely. Um, but I would make a comment, you know, all these alarms are valid. But the best thing to compare with is 
what people are receiving there with what they would receive were they to have, say, uh, a chest X-ray. And and then, you know, and I have seen comparisons like that, and then decide if, in fact, it's dangerous yet. I, I mean, I'm not saying it isn't likely to become dangerous, but I think at this point it's not, um, you know, not probably not life-threatening. Well, well, certainly not life-threatening. But, you, you know, you should compare with what is known to be, well, you might, I'm not saying acceptable, but let's say not dangerous. Well, uh, so far... Uh, if if yes, we get so if, far, we, so if we get a full on uh, core meltdown, uh, this this could go on. In fact, it could go on anyhow for months. The emission you don't we see smoke. Yeah, that's absolutely right. It, it, it would go on for months unless they have a well. They're going to have to do a complete uh, containment, uh, damming it off, flooding it with water, packing in loads of borax, and uh, and, and so forth. The Chinooks that flew over to try to dump the water, which uh, I'm sure you saw the footage. The water I did. Didn't, I thought, yeah. my God, well, that is not really very efficient. But It's stupid. You know, it, that it got shows they're away. desperate, uh, uh, ending up doing such, well, well, not entirely futile, but, I mean, difficult things. Cause well, the water was... I think it'd be better. The winds blew the water away. Hardly any of it yeah. hit the target. And so what yeah. happened was the air crew... Uh, in each case, in each helicopter, the two I saw were exposed to a, a, an obviously a very intense gamma radiation blast, and they well, had to be withdrawn right. before they were over their allowed dosage. And obviously, too much mm-hmm. is too mm-hmm. much. Uh, and I'm I'm concerned that any is too much. But uh, you've got heroes on the ground who have already given their lives, are still walking and talking. These people are going to die young. They have uh, fire trucks yeah. there uh-huh. with hoses. Uh, but again, as soon as you put salt water on stainless steel apparatus, it's toast. So it's done. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But, they, but they're, they're giving up anyway on, on keeping those things. The worrying thing is they were not prepared for such an eventuality. And there had been warnings that this particular um, facility had had problems anyway. I mean, I don't know if you saw that man who used to work for GE, General Electric, and he was... Uh, quite concerned about what was going on. The General Electric people, uh, as most of you listening know, have been very quiet. They're <laughs> well, they have, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, do. but I think what will happen now is there will be a backlash against nuclear power and the nuclear industry will be quiet for a short time and then come forward fighting, claiming that they've solved all these sort of problems. Oh, you well, can you could write yeah. the screenplay, Piers. Uh, uh, one could, one could. Um, interestingly, I'm sure they'll pop up with the usual global warming nonsense that it's better to uh, die of radiation than it is to have these imaginary uh, extreme weather events caused by CO2 when we know that they're not <laughs> caused by CO2 at all. God help us, you're probably right. Uh, I've never seen more convoluted, contrived, corrupted uh, lying in my life uh, than this whole yeah. global warming thing. And they'll, they'll, no doubt, they'll. You're right. They'll custom make it to try to fit mm-hmm. and take advantage of this disaster. Uh, that's that's who these people are. Precisely. Okay. Uh, climatologically, Americans are worried about the jet stream. They're worried about this. And what uh, Yoichi said the other night was simply when it warms up there, maybe you can help us. He said it's cold yeah. now, and the high pressure is sort of quashing any real easy rise into the upper atmosphere. But when it gets colder, he said this, this air is going to rise. I'm sorry, when it gets warmer, the air is going to rise more easily. And if it gets up to eight or 9,000 feet, it's going to catch perhaps the lower echelon of the jet stream movement and be taken a- across the Pacific. Is that an accurate statement, or does it have to go higher than that? Uh, no, that, that is accurate. Um, uh, you know, and anything that gets hot enough uh, will, will get there. And if there's a, a meltdown type, type thing, which is like a slow bomb, if you like, well, a reactor is a very slow bomb, mm-hmm. but... Uh, a meltdown is a less slow bomb. Uh, if the um, up, up flow is hot enough, it would get into the uh, the jet stream. That's right, and then it would be uh, widely circulated, like like Chernobyl. In fact, it'll go yes, all around the world. That's right. That's right. All right. 
You've had your own problems over there, uh, Sellafield and others. Uh, we just got a story here that the Indian Point, New York, nuclear reactor, and 13 others had near misses last year, mm. i.e. almost catastrophes. Uh, our plants mm. are 40 to 50 years old. We have 103 of them all together. Uh, we have 23 here of the same design that are uh, now uh, trash at uh, Fukushima. What is your mm. feeling about nuclear energy, Piers? I'm sure I could guess, but go ahead. Well, and I've said on some films before that I I am very skeptical about its its safety. Uh, I mean, in theory, you can keep the reactors safe. I agree with that. But the problems are in terms of the waste storage and disposal, which is open to attack by terrorists or attacking during wartime. Uh, and wars do happen between countries, as we've noticed. Um, and uh, the other thing is uh, natural catastrophes uh, like this. Now, most of them probably are um, safe against earthquake because they can calculate that, but uh, uh, maybe not entirely so, a severe earthquake, and uh, certainly, obviously, not safe against certain things like... Uh, like tsunamis or possibly even uh, big storms, which upset the backup equipment, you see. That's well, the problem they've had. Swept it away. Our, our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the operators of our power plants are notorious for literally sweeping safety issues under the rug and not remedying them. Nuclear uh, <laughs> regulatory people have told the operators of Indian Point, for example, many, many times to fix the problems, they found out that they have a leak there from 2 to 20 gallons per minute around the clock really? piers going back to 1993. Mm. 2 to 20 Jeez. gallons per minute going back to 1993. Well, and they haven't fixed it. I agree with you. They do obfuscate. Well, naturally, because, you know, there's a large amount of uh, share value at stake if they don't obfuscate. What's, what is going on in the U.K. press? Uh, they seem to be producing the best stories. I usually run them on my site over here because the American press is, is often lacking. Uh, are they yes. beginning to call for, uh, well, uh, the Germans, as you know, Angela Merkel ordered the closing of uh, the first two, the oldest of Germany's nuclear mm. power plants, and has prohibited the license extensions of any existing nuclear power plants in Germany. So they've been yeah. blocked at least temporarily. That's a sensible thing to do, barring a full investigation of all plants. Have you heard a call for that in your country? Uh, yes, there has been calls on those lines as well, but I, I haven't um, seen what the responses are. You mentioned something about wars. You said countries do go to war against each other from time to time. Well, as we've noticed since the Iraq war, it's hardly a mutually equal situation. These are not wars in my book. They're, they're slaughters. If you thought of something like an Israel versus Iran conflict, you could be absolutely sure that the nuclear facilities in both countries would be bombed by each other, and that would have catastrophic consequences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so, let's... you know, it's best if we don't have these these things around and and the idea of littering the world with with them all over the place it must increase the dangers we don't need them we do not need them i have been repulsed by the uh the lack of intelligence displayed on the internet by so many people who immediately yeah. whenever there's an earthquake say ah it was a harp earthquake or a scalar weapon did it or the globalists did it with secret underground earthquake-causing devices and technology. <laughs> Mother Nature is no longer allowed to have earthquakes, uh, Piers, uh, apparently. Yes, well, good point. I, I mean, well, any theory that it's caused by man, because uh, we've also had the global warmers saying that somehow uh, earthquakes are encouraged by CO2. Um, Anyone who makes these claims has to explain why there were so many earthquakes or any other extreme events in the past at various times. Um, and, of course, they can't do that. And we know that uh, um, earthquakes are often associated with 
preceded by extreme events on the sun, uh, such as coronal mass ejections, often involving protons, and then also exacerbated by uh, lunar effects uh, in terms of lunar tides uh, or solar lunar tides on the Earth. So the earthquakes are a solar lunar thing, a bit like extreme events, um, but not the same as extreme events of, of, of weather. You say protons. How do protons affect earthquakes? Well, I don't think the protons as such have a direct effect on causing of earthquakes, but they are a very useful measure of a severe event on the sun. Um, and two days ago, there was another um, proton event on the sun and another coronal mass ejection, which, um, well, these are things which preceded the, the uh, big earthquake we've just had in Japan and also preceded the uh, New Zealand earthquake uh, in, on the 21st of of February. It doesn't mean we're going to have some, but it means that the possibilities are, are there.